Hi, and welcome to Lines on Design. I'm Debbie Lines. I am here today with John Ionazzo from Liberty Window and Wall Coverings. We're very excited to see you today. You know, you and I have worked together for quite a few years now. And over the years, we've talked about a lot of different things when it comes to window treatments and fabrics and wall coverings and all kinds of things. I thought today would be interesting. And today's show actually comes about because we've had so many people talk to us and ask questions, we thought it might be interesting to talk a little bit today about value and value added. Yes. Um, one of the main questions that I get all the time, okay, about window treatments, and I'll be real honest, John, it's probably my, from a designer point of view, it's one of my toughest sells. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize the scale of what we can do, of what's available, and you brought up value, so you mm -hmm. have value, budget, and price which all three can work together, but they're not always connected. The same. Yeah. I like that Just value because something's price. low price doesn't mean it's a good value. Mm -hmm. Just because something's a good value doesn't mean it's, you know, not going to fit in the budget or it's going to be under, you know. Well, recently I've had a, a client and, and we were doing a budget. We were estimating, you know, here's what we want for furniture and accessories and artwork and window treatments and all those kinds of things. And I was shocked at how, um, how initially, truth, little value she put on. On the window coverings. Yes. Yeah, you have these great big windows, these views, you want to protect the floor and you want to stop the heat and you want to yes. do all these things. But yeah, they, they undervalue the, the, the window coverings. And it happens it, all the time. No, it, it was really amazing to me because for me, and I think it's just because I've done design for so many years, I find the way I treat my windows um, really sets the tone for the entire home. It's part of the anchoring, to me, the windows are part of the anchoring piece of the home. Yes. I mean, furniture's pretty, mm -hmm. but flooring, windows, window treatment, that really sets the tone yes. for everything. So with that said, we thought it might be interesting to talk a little bit about value. Mm -hmm. And with value comes safety. And eight grandchildren later, uh, right? And I have learned that safety is the number one priority for me when it comes to any kind of design I do also. So that also is important when you talk about blinds. Absolutely, yes. Um, there's a lot we can do for safety now. There, there was a recently a, uh, a show, I believe, on ABC. They, did, they covered the dangers of cords and window blinds. Okay. So many of the things we can do now, the duet honeycomb shades, the silhouettes, even the woven woods, Okay. we can do them completely cordless. Right. So you have no cords at all. So that's a great value added option. Um, some of the things like the Solera soft shades have no upcharge for cordless at all. So no it just comes upcharge. standard okay. on that. And that's one of your best value shades. Um, it's got a very low opening price point. It's a nice big pleat similar to a honeycomb shade. Okay. Uh, but it's a, a larger pleat for a larger window. Now, one of the other things that when we're talking about safety is, and I never thought about pets. Yeah, pets too, no cords. Nothing for the cat to play with or the dog to chew up. That's pretty amazing. Uh, you had a, talking about value, you had an interesting sort of anecdote about a client that you just recently had. Yeah, we and changed. something that Hunter Douglas and you all do. Yes, uh, we, we did some roller shades for them, and they wanted to get privacy at night. They wanted the whole view of the water during the day, and they wanted to stop the heat. Okay. So they went with a uh, designer roller shade, just a real simple, nice, it was a nice warm color, um, kind of a goldish color. Mm -hmm. And we put them in, and it turned out when the sun hit the window, even in November, December, too much heat. Oh, too much heat came yeah. through. When okay. the sun hits that window, it just made the room too hot to sit in to watch TV. Uh, so what we did was the right choice promise. We have a program. Okay. So if it's not the right product, you have three weeks to live with it, and then you can reselect, and you get your what you paid for the initial product gets credited towards the new product. Oh, my gosh. So you're, if, it, if you don't feel it's the right choice, you can reselect, and we're the only ones that have that right choice promise in the area. Okay. Well, and, and this brings me back to the value added piece. A, that's a huge value added. Yes. Okay, number two, and I want to make sure we talk about this in a second, is what value you add. But as, we're, as I listen to you talking about the roller shades, what did they um, graduate to, if you, if you will? And when we talk about value added and heat, mm -hmm. let's talk about cooling and heat and some of the products that are available. Well, they went with the Duet Honeycomb Shade. Okay. Okay, and these are, we've done these for years. Many people have seen these. So they've been around for a long time. The newest thing is the Duet Architella. So it has the cell inside of a cell. It traps three layers of air. 
Okay. So it really stops the heat. It will stop the heat in the summer, the cold in the winter. It's, a, it's an excellent shade. It can even be room darkening if you need to be. And talking about value, so we have the Duet Honeycomb Shade, which you have in your hand are called Applause Honeycomb Shades. Right. And they, I mean, we, we all grew up with these, you guys. Yeah. These are, it's a great example of the, the value versus the price versus the budget. So okay. you have in the Duet line more decorative fabrics, so you could coordinate mm -hmm. this to your floor and to your furniture. Mm -hmm. You can see, you know, the grays are huge right now. And these are much more um, what I would call designer fabrics. Yes. Um, and they are going to add visual interest as yep. opposed to something like this, which is just simple and kind of blends into the trim. Exactly. Right? So a lot of reasons to do these shades, including the, the look. These are the designer interest, the architella, so it's a better insulator. Mm -hmm. But if you have a guest bedroom or a family room where you don't need as much, these are your value-added shades. Okay. They're still going to stop the heat. They're going to give you privacy. They're going to stack out of the way. They have the same lifetime guarantee. But it's a less expensive fabric and it's a less expensive product. Now. So we can stay within your budget, give you the value of the shade that you mm -hmm. need. Yeah, you're like, mm. I said yeah. now, you know what <laughs> I'm going to say? No. This is the difference and this is the value that you and your folks hold when you come in to Liberty. Mm -hmm. Because if you go in any big box store or a lot of other places, um, it's very easy to go in and buy a blind, to be honest with you. Yeah, you Although I giggle, show. I laugh, because I told you I was just in three, I was in three houses, okay? And they're, they're upstairs of this one house. They, they went to a big box store and bought their, their shades to save some money. There were gaps mm -hmm. on half of them this big, and then on the other one, they were a little bit too big. Yeah. So it's certainly not easy. And when I asked them just, just experientially what it was like, they said, well, basically we just walked in and they showed us the blind department and that was that. There was no um, consideration, if you will, for what where I was putting it, what I was doing. And what you needed it to do. Exactly. You know? Why are you all different? We try to listen to what you need to figure out the best product for your window. Okay. You know, if you need to stop heat, this is a good option. But some people don't want the all or nothing of a honeycomb shade. You know, it's a great shade. It stacks small, but when it's down, it's down. When it's up, it's up. There's no in between. Okay. Something like the See, I love silhouette. These. Yeah, these yeah. are your favorite. You can have it down and closed for privacy. You can have it open so you can see out. Mm -hmm. This will stop 87% of the ultraviolet rays, so you'll protect your floor. Now hear that again. 87% uh -huh. of the ultraviolet rays when they're down and open, so you can see out, but you still have. UV protection. They close, mm -hmm. so you have total privacy, 99% UV protection. They can be light dimming. This is a silhouette here, and you can see when they're up, it leaves your whole view Look open. Look at these. And again, talking about value, budget, price. I love how you say that. When I, again, I'm a designer. Mm -hmm. This is a French linen. Um, stick it down for me here. And the French linen, very, very uh, high style, if mm -hmm. you will. And it's going to be a bit more pricey, but then going back to making it more cost effective, Nantucket there you go. Shows. Which I love, and I think they're fantastic yeah. too. One of the things that John does so well is he'll come into the house and actually walk around with the designer, myself or the client, and kind of guide us as to mm -hmm. what should go where. Do most people know what they want? Do they know what's available? No. Most people come in, they have no idea. It's been seven, ten years since they looked at window coverings, mm -hmm. and there's always something new. You know, um, one thing we hear a lot is sliding glass doors or big windows. They okay. come in, they know they don't want vertical blinds. Okay. So I pulled a swatch of vertical blinds. Yeah, let's blind. look at verticals for a minute. This is interesting to me. These are one of the least expensive things we can put on your window. They're also one of the worst value. Do you hear that, folks? Worst value. They're not very kid-friendly. Um, there's a lot of moving parts. They will definitely give you a dated look. So we do very few verticals anymore, even though they are inexpensive. You can do a plain, flat vinyl vertical. Right. And you can get one of these off the shelf at you know one of the big box stores. And I think that's something that I try to chat with people about all the time is the, is the fact that, yes, they're available, but they really are not practical. Yeah, they're not they're practical They're not a good they value. They have a large stack. They're, yeah. Right. One thing, so we do now a lot of, instead of vertical blinds, are the woven wood shades. Oh, on a vertical window. On a vertical. A woven wood, vertical drapery. We can do a vertically moving drapery out of a woven wood. And they actually have a very good opening price point. So they're not nearly as expensive as people think they are. Do you have your price book? Where is that thing? You have to go run over and get that. One of the things that I found very interesting is when we were preparing for the show, John and I were talking a little bit about, well, how much is it to just do an <laughs> average window? And he was like, yeah, my oh, average yeah, price. Yeah. exactly. And he goes, oh, well... Here's the average price, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, there's about 5,000 pages here. Mm -hmm. We could take the least expensive. So if we took an applause honeycomb shade. Okay. It's this is really fascinating. Uh -huh. And put all the bells and whistles. So if we did power view, motorized, top down, bottom up, room darkening, we could make it more expensive than a 
expensive shade. Silhouette shade. Mm -hmm. Now, if we put all the bells and whistles in the silhouette, it becomes more expensive than that. So it's not sh a straight line pricing. It depends on the size of the window and all of the available options, all the value you want to put into it. Mm -hmm. You know, some people may not have any need for a top-down, bottom-up shade. Other people, that might be, you know, a very valuable thing to have. So the, things like that are going to influence the price as well as the fabric and the size of the window. How do you, how do you think that people will um, handle budget? Do you, can you give them a ballpark? In other words, can you come out to the house and take a look at it and just say, you know, with, this, with these um, windows, it's going to be between X and Y? Once we measure the windows, yes. Um, some people will bring their measurements into the store and we can work some prices up that way to you know, get a couple ideas of where they want to be. Um, a lot of people will go through and select what they want out of the window coverings, what okay. they really like, get the price on that, and then either scale back if it's over budget, exactly. or if they say, oh, it's not as much as I thought, exactly. what if we motorize them? We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back again with John Ionazzo here at Liberty Wall Coverings. We're going to be talking about, I love what you said, value, budget, price. Stay with us. We are back here on, on Lines on Design again. John Ionazzo has joined us at Liberty, and we're talking about, I tell you what, this is your new coin term, value, price, and budget, and yes. it's been absolutely fascinating. And um, when we took a break, I was dying to come back and ask you a little bit about something that one of my clients just talked about, and that is light and heat resilience. Mm -hmm. There are uh, blinds now, and you were just showing me these that really can dissuade the sun, yes, correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay, how? Is it the cells that capture, how does this work? On the honeycomb shade, whether it's the <coughs> yeah. duet or the applause, the room darkening ones have a mylar lining on the inside. Okay. Okay, so that's gonna stop all the visible light. All right. The other ones are gonna work more like a lampshade. Oh. So they're gonna let light come diffuse through. Diffuse it. But they're gonna diffuse it. Same mm -hmm. with the silhouette and the the pirouette and the Nantucket window shadings, they're gonna diffuse the light. We can do light dimming. Okay. We actually have a new version of the silhouette that uh, it's called a silhouette to do. So it's got a built-in liner shade. You can have this shade down, drop a black outliner behind it to really make the room dark. It's so funny. All I'm, in one little head rail. I love it. Um, in my practice, I do a lot with sleep hygiene. Okay. Okay, because they're finding now that, that if you can manage your sleep you know, get the amount of sleep you need in a, in a room that is uh, specifically for sleep. Your attention's better, your mood's better, and so on and so mm -hmm. forth. So I'm really kind of interested now in room darkening and actual blackout. Well, it's part of the value of what we do is we try to talk about what you need out of your shades. Some people need complete room darkening. They need that room okay. to be completely, completely dark. Uh, you my have to sister, tell everybody now that in their bedroom they need sleep that. Sleep hygiene. Yes, yeah, sleep hygiene. Well, not everybody needs this. Okay. My sister, for example, Everything has to be dark. She even covers up the little light, you know, on her TV. Yes. That one little red dot that tells the TV's plugged in, she has to cover that up. It's too much light for her. Okay. I had room darkening shades in the place I lived in two, three years ago. Okay. I couldn't wake up in the morning. Oh. Without the natural light, without the sun coming up, I had the hardest time. It took me about a month to figure out mm -hmm. what was going on. I couldn't, you know, usually I'm a morning person. Yeah. Alarm goes off, I get up and ready to go. But without that natural light coming in, and so I started makes... leaving the shade up a little bit, and then, you know, the sun started coming up, and I just start, you know, so it, it depends on the person, on what you need. Some people need it dark, some people don't. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Bringing kind of the natural segue into the Hunter Douglas product versus mm -hmm. different products. I mean, this in and of itself. Yeah, just that, yeah, especially with the Architella and, and the different things we can do with the silhouette to do in the room darkening. So what I like about Hunter Douglas is there's always something new. They're always, they have the best warranty on in the industry and all the window coverings. And they're always, there's always something new. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't work, if it needs tweaked, if it needs updated, they're always doing something. And what I like about that is they're always working towards the future. So even if you bought this shade 10 years ago okay. and 
the fabric delaminates or there's a warranty issue, they're still going to be there because they're still working towards the future to take care of that shade. Do they listen to what you distributors have to say about it? Are you part of focus groups? Are you included? I have in been in the past. It's been a while since I've uh, since I've done that. It's been kind of kind of busy. Uh huh. But yeah, I've gone out and they've shown us different products and different systems and different concepts they have, and, and they always listen to our ideas and figure out what works, what doesn't work, what we like. So they are interested in our feedback as well as the consumer's feedback on what's working and what needs to be Let's done. Let's talk about some of the things that they're, they're looking toward the future. Um, I know one thing that we talked about in the first segment was child safety. Okay, but let's talk about this. And the motorized. Well, motorized. very child safe, so you can do, we can do motorized shades now, which means no cords, um, nothing for the, you know, the kids mm -hmm. to play with or get tangled up in. Now, and many people, remember, used to be afraid of having those motorized yeah. uh, blinds, but you said they're amazing now. They are. The Power View motorized shades are really, really great. Um, we have more channels now. It's all done off of radio frequency, no more infrared, so you don't have to point and click oh. and hope that it hits. It's much more precise, and these okay. are really smart shades, kind of like your smartphone. Okay. So the shade, not only does the remote talk to the shade, the shade actually talks to the remote. And we can program it through your smartphone so you can set different scenes, different times. You can do it all through your phone. Okay, this is what I wanted to ask you. Again, my, so. my, okay, my client who gets uh, afternoon sun mm -hmm. and, is, and works and isn't oftentimes not there yeah. wants a shade that will come down at, I don't know, 216 or is that what the... Yeah, so you're at work, okay, so from you know the sun comes in from, say, 2 to 4. Right. You get home 5, and you don't want the shades down, and you want to see your view. So you can, we can program it so the shades will come down, stay down from 2 to 4, keep the sun out, protect the floor, keep the heat out, mm -hmm. and then go back up before you even come home. You never even know. This is exactly what I was talking about. The other thing that we were talking about is with so many people who travel, wouldn't it be great to be able to lower and raise my shades? Yep, with Remote Connect, you can do that. You can be on the road, you can be across the country, wherever, and you can raise and lower your shade so it looks like your home. Does it work on most all Hunter Douglas products? Pretty much. Um, everything but shutters, I'd say. We can <laughs> do the silhouettes, the luminettes, um, pirouettes, mm -hmm. duets, really everything. Now we can do motorized. All right, talk to me about some of the initial, uh, not initial, some of the new ways of opening and closing. You talked in the first segment that no longer do we have the cords that the kids can yeah. hurt themselves. Yeah, the standard with. cord lock, we don't do very many. That's when you raise the shade, the cord drags on the floor. Right. Um, Ultra Glide is a popular one. That's what the, is that? It's the retractable cord. Okay. Okay, and so, so, yep, every time you pull it, the cord retracts up, so it stays nice and short, keeps okay. it out of the little one's hands. Why is that a good thing? Because you don't have the cord dragging on the floor. And we can do a larger shade. Okay. without putting the wear and tear on the cord. Oh, because it's just short little... Exactly, exactly. We can do cordless. This is our most popular one. Okay. So no hmm. cords at all. You just... Just... Push it up and pull it down. Push it up. Push it. There oh, you go. gosh. That's all it is. Push it up. Look at this. And then pull it. Oh, even I can do that. Hmm. But it's pretty sturdy, isn't it? Real sturdy. It has a lifetime guarantee. It's a really good system. It's, it's made to stand the test of time. It's made to be used. And where would you put a shade like that? Anywhere. Anywhere. Yeah. And that's one you were talking about doing vertical too. Yep, we can do those vertically. Boy, so you that can makes match on a slider. A it's a great option for a slider. And what about the stack on some of those? Not much. It's not terrible. It's uh, not as much as a drapery or a traditional vertical blind. It's about 15% 15. of the overall width. Which isn't bad but at all. But it's going to depend on the material too. This is a thinner fabric. Okay. So you can oh, see yeah, how look thin at that. that one yes. is. Yes, yes. Compared to, say, this one is a little bit heavier, so it's going right. to have a little more of a stack. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, so I've got the, what's that called? Which one? This one, the uh -huh. silhouette? But what's the? Oh, light rise. Right? Light rise. Light rise. Light rise. Zip, zip. Okay, I've got light rise. I've got retractable cord. It's called ultra glide. Ultra glide. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is fun. Okay. Easy rise is the continuous cord loop. Okay, and what so is, that's oh. that's the one, that, exactly. Okay. And there's a piece that gets fastened down now. We have to fasten that down so that way it's not any kind of child safety hazard. Okay, or pet safety hazard. Or pet safety hazard. <laughs> Don't forget the pet. Okay, so I got. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, exactly. got it. What else? Uh, and power fun. view. Okay. And motorized. What do you recommend? Will you walk through the house with us? Yeah, it depends on, yeah, the window and the room and what you need. Um, hard to reach windows, I really like the motorized, but mm -hmm. we're doing more motorized in all windows. Um, it's, it's really the, the trend now. People like the convenience of hitting one button, pressing up, and having all the shades go up. Okay. You can lower them all at once. I sort of wasn't listening to the to the to this piece. <laughs> is this different than putting it on your phone? Are yes. there two separate things? Two separate things. You okay. can control them with just the handheld Pebble remote, and it comes in a variety of colors. You can oh, I white. saw over that. Look yeah. at it. 
We can do red, We're blue, all about green. The neutral. Yes. Yeah. There's a little sign. And it's supposed over to here. be look like a pebble, so when you turn it upside down, oh, it's, it's not a just another pebble. Who knew? You like right. That? I like that a lot actually. I had a customer call that one a bar soap. Now I can't okay, see anything. Okay, bar soap. Yeah, now you see a bar, bar soap. soap. Okay, well in the bedroom I want my bar soap. There, there you go. go. So okay. that's different than the than than the app. So you download okay. the app, we can uh, hook it up with the with the shades so you can control your shades from your phone. You can set different scenes, different timers. And if you notice Oh, oh so so I I can have one not to be a dodo, but I can have one remote for different windows. One remote for different oh, windows. I we like have that. six channels and there is a favorites button here. Okay. So if you have if if say you have the silhouette okay. and you like them down and open, your favorite position is to have them down and open like this so you mm -hmm. can see out, you get the mm -hmm. diffuse light. You can press the favorite button and they'll all go to that position. But say there's uh, two of them you want up. Okay. Say you want three of them down, two of them up. You got a baby, you want something darkening yeah. in their room. Okay. The favorites button can set them where you want. You can set different scenes so they can, you know, go down at night, up in mm -hmm. the day. If you you know watch football on Sundays and there's too much glare, you can have it the shades drop automatically two minutes before kickoff. I think, listen to you, yeah. I think the most interesting part of doing a show like this is I like the specificity, I like the fact that we're hopefully giving you all the opportunity to recognize how important your window treatments and the shades really are to day-to-day -day living. Yeah. That's what I think we, we, we miss. For John, it's all about the, the sports and the football. With eight grandkids, it's all about the nap time for the kids. There you go, yeah. And then you talk about yourself getting up in the morning. For me, it's sleep hygiene, so I find it really, really interesting. Um, what do you like for people to come in prepared with when they come to see you, John, what helps you the most? Honestly, a good attitude. Oh, I love it. So they don't, they don't need their plans. You don't, they don't need your need plans. Any, you okay. don't need your measurements. Come in. We'll look at the different products. We can show you how different things work. And you may like the way one thing looks, and you may hate the way something else is, mm -hmm. and we can we can narrow it down from there. And, and I know when you say good attitude, here's what I really hear, because I've experienced it with you. A lot of it is being open. Yes, that's, yeah. Right, to something that's so new. So often, we're the last ones in the home. The floors are done, everything else is done, painting's been done. Mm -hmm. So we're, they, they finally get around to doing window coverings in a new home. So a lot of times people are tired, ready to move in. There's mm -hmm. already been other project delays. They're over budget anyway. They're over budget right. anyway. So yeah, just really a good attitude is all I ask. So, uh, there you go. So I think, I think the takeaway for all of us is plan a little ahead of time when you're doing a house or new house or renovation. John, thank you so much for joining us. We want to thank all of you for joining us here on Lines on Design. Have a wonderful week.